good evening everyone uh, so we are uh, moving ahead for our third video how to create simple forms in symphony um, I believe like you might have uh, watched the other two videos you know how to install and uh, the hello world program of symphony so moving ahead we'll see how we can quickly create a simple form in symphony 2 and then post it back so in order to have this we as you know already for every um, URL we need to have a routing pattern so you know I'm naming this routing pattern as welcome new form and the pattern will be the URL slash new form and it, it defaults to this controller Acme demo bundle welcome new form so let's quickly move on to the welcome controller where you can see a new form action and uh, ignore this attribute I mean the argument as of now we'll cover up in the, in the later part of this video um, here we are going to create a simple form via a form builder and this create form builder is a function which is in the default controller of symphony which resides in symphony bundle uh, framework bundle controller slash controller so we create a simple form using create form builder if you want to pass data class to it where either it may be a propel class or a doctrine entity so either of this goes well with this create form builder uh, as of now i'm making it null you know let's go with a normal form without any data pack uh, i'm going to add a field called name which is of text property i am making the mapped property which is going to be the uh, you know mapping field to the entity since we don't have any entity in place uh, we are going to set the mapped column to be false and i am getting the form object via this uh, method called get form so now having this in place the return of i mean this get form will return the form object and all you are going to do is as you know we are going to render the twig template uh, the name of the template is new form.html twig and uh, since this is in the welcome controller we are going to place this inside welcome folder and you can see uh, this is how it will look like so it resides under welcome controller and the name of the file is new form.html twig and as you have seen now in the welcome controller we are passing the form object and uh, a form cannot render itself on the twig so we need to create the form object as a viewable entity so we are going to call a method called create view and that will be pushed on to form object now if you see in the new form.html twig we have a, a sample form and I am again reposting to the same path you know this path function in twig denotes the URL name the routing name so the routing name here is welcome new form and the same thing goes here I am going to make the form submit as post method with some encoding type the UTF-8 encode and I am going to render all the form elements first in the method called form widget so it's something simple right let's see how it will look like in the browser and as you know the pattern here is new form and we have just one form field called uh, name and all I'm going to do is I'm going to say hi though it is going to repeat to the new form there is no uh, I know form submit even being triggered so let's go and see further here I have co commented out the request method so now covering up this argument this is a request from the HTTP foundation component of symphony um, HTTP foundation to be simple HTTP foundation is nothing but a individual component which provides request uh, response and session based classes and it is the core component of symphony to ensure there is a proper request response cycle flowing in so I am going to comment these lines out uh, so now this request is checking whether the incoming method is a get method or post method because once you submit the form it is again going to be a post method to the same uh, action so it is checking is method of post and it is going to fetch the form data 
the form data can be retrieved from the request object to the request i mean uh, the request can be categorized into four different stuffs one is cookie uh, you know get post attributes and so on session and so on so we are going to say a request of request is nothing but the post and get the form the form will consist of an array where the array will have the token and the field values and so on and i'm just going to echo the value here submitted values form data of name uh, maybe if you want at the later point of time you can do some database operations here uh, let's see how this works so we have we are going to type hi and submitted value is hi so there is some sort of event when you submit this is when you submit this uh, maybe at a later point of time you can pass data entities to the create form builder class and retrieve the same after the form submission and you know push the updated value back to the database so i mean this is a very simple way of uh, building a form in the controller action later you know in the next subsequent videos you can see uh, you know how to create a form type or uh, how to do a basic red operations in uh, in uh, regards with our doctrine entity thanks for watching this video have a great day bye bye